because Noah is 14, some of his physicians, they're, they're not, some are at retirement point, but they haven't retired yet. When we have emergencies, we used to know the teams in the yeah. emergency department, yeah. in the PICU. They knew me, they yeah. knew Noah, and yeah. they knew Noah is a train wreck on paper. We don't discount that. Noah and I have these, baby, This you have these diagnoses, right? These are all the things. And you are not that paper. So yes, you have these things. Yes, they create limitations and disabilities. And you are more than that. And it shows up now where all people see is when they get his chart, they expect a vegetative person. And no, that's not who he is. Listen to me. Let me show you. I have videos and I have pictures. Okay, we went in once. It was about 10 o'clock. And by the time we got to the floor and the doctor comes in, he said, oh, okay, so this is his baseline. And he was asleep. I said, no, it's 10 o'clock. It's bedtime. It's called sleep. <laughs> That's not his baseline. He was super sick. And um, I said, this, this isn't, this is not my child. Something is really, really wrong. He doesn't just sleep. That's not him. And thankfully, one of his physicians who one of the specialists that knew him came in to see him. He's like, yeah, no, this isn't, this isn't Noah. This isn't the Noah that I know. It shows up now with new physicians. Um, who don't trust that I know what I'm talking about, who rely solely on what they learned in a book and or potentially from what they've seen from other families. We recently just had a major medical error with a new physician who changed a medication without telling me and uh, enabled him to get generic. And it was more so to get a capsule. Noah is solely G2 fed. And so everything has to be able to go through the G2 without clogging it. They changed <laughs> They changed the prescription and said it's okay for him to get this. Not only was it um, almost life-threatening for him in the sense of clogging the tube, I fought years, years with insurance to get this medication covered because it's considered over the counter. It is an over-the-counter medication, but he can't take it by mouth. And so fighting with insurance, finally getting it cleared, for this person in a matter of five minutes to potentially upend all of that. So it is, it is a continual, I have to be on my P's and Q's.